This video is about Career Service Examination. Your Ultimate Guide About the Examination This video will tackle about the scope of the examination, passing grade, testing centers, qualifications and admissions requirements, application and documentary requirements, where to get the application form and how to file the application and target release of the results. The Career Service Examination or more commonly known as the Civil Service Exam is a professional qualifications exam in the Philippines for people planning to become civil servants. If you wish to be part of any government agency, you have to pass the Career Service Examination in order to be eligible of any government position. Let us talk about first the scope of the examination. For the professional level. Coverage of the exam are numerical ability. This will test your basic operation and word problem skills. Numerical ability, which composed of word association, identifying assumption and conclusion and logic data interpretation. We have verbal ability that will test your grammar and correct usage, vocabulary, paragraph organization and reading comprehension skills. And lastly general information that will test your knowledge in Philippines Constitution, Code of Conduct and Ethical Standard for Public Officials and Employee. The number of items for professional level are 170 items and it will take 3 hours to 10 minutes to finish the exam. And for subprofessional level the coverage of the exam we have numerical ability that will test your basic operation and word problem skills. Clerical ability that will test your grammar and correct usage, vocabulary, paragraph organization, and reading comprehension skills. And lastly general information that will test your knowledge in Philippines Constitution and Code of Conduct and Ethical Standard for public officials and employee. The number of items for subprofessional level are 165 items and it will take 2 hours and 40 minutes to answer the test. Passing grade. All exams, including professional and subprofessional, for both PPT and COMEX required a passing rate of 80%. Testing Center. Here is the list of testing center for the civil service exam. Take note that some testing area may subject to change. For the Region 1 testing area are San Fernando La Union, Vigan City, Laog City, Udanada City, and Lingayan Pangasinan. For Region 2 testing area are Tugagareo City, Kauaian City, Bayambang Nueva Vizcaya, and Bosco Batons. For Region 3 testing area are City of San Fernando Pampanga, Malolo City, Balanga City, and Baylor Aurora. For Region 4 Ima City, Los Banos Laguna, Batangas City, Morong Rizal, Lucina City, Calapan City, Oriental Mindoro, Romblon Romblon, and Porta Princesa City. For Region 5 testing area are the following. For Region 6 testing area are the following. For Region 7 testing area are the following. For Region 8 testing area are the following. For Region 9 testing area are the following. For Region 10 testing area are the following. For Region 11 testing area are the following. For Region 12 testing area are the following. For Region NCR testing area are the following. For Region CAR testing area are the following. For Region CARAGA testing area are the following. For Region BARM testing area are the following. For the qualification and admission requirements. First you must be Filipino citizen, at least 18 years old, and of good moral character. Has no criminal record or has not been convicted by final judgment of an offense or crime involving moral turpitude. 
has not been dishonorably discharged from military service or dismissed for cause from any civilian position in the government, has not taken the same level of career service examination within three months from the last examination taken, for the application and documentary requirements. These are the list of the documentary requirements that you must prepare and to be submitted first fully accomplished application form, CS Form No. 100 revised September 2016. The space's fourth signature of applicant and right thumb mark on the form should be left blank. These shall be accomplished in the presence of the CSC processor. This is sample of the application form. Second, you have to secure four copies of identical pictures with specification as follows. Philippine passport size, 4.5 cm by 3.5 cm or 1.8 inches by 1.4 inches, colored with white background, printed on good quality photo paper, in standard close-up shot, from shoulder level up with the head and face occupying at least 80% of the picture and with the name tag position at approximately 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters below the chin. In bare face, with no eyeglasses or any accessories that may cover the facial features, taken within the last three months prior to filing of application. Taken in full face view directly facing the camera, with neutral facial expression and both eyes open, not computer enhanced with full and handwritten, not computer generated, name tag in the format, first name, middle initial, last name, and extension name, if any, example want C, Dela Cruz, JR, and signature over printed name. This is the proper format for passport picture. This is the example. Another requirement that you should prepare is your original and photocopy of valid ID, not expired on the date of filing of application. If your only available ID does not contain your birth date, submit a copy of your NSO or PSA birth certificate. Here's the CSC list of accepted IDs. Driver's license or temporary driver's license, LTO or must be presented together with old driver's license, OR alone is not allowed or student driver's permit, card type with photo, passport, PRC license, SSSID, GSISID, UMID, voters ID, slash voter certification, BIR slash taxpayers ID, ATM type slash TIN card type with picture. PhilHealth ID must have the bearer's name, clear picture, signature and PhilHealth number, company slash office ID, school ID, Police clearance slash police clearance certificate, with picture, postal ID, barangay ID, and NBI clearance. And lastly, you have to prepare examination fee of 500 pesos. For application form and filing of application. Form is available at the regional office and can be downloaded. Link are provided in the description below. Prepare the necessary requirements. Then go personally to the CSC regional office where you will intend to take the exam. Check the Civil Service Commission office directory to find the CSC office near your area. You should submit a complete set of application documentary requirements to the CSC regional or field office. Wear proper attire during the filing of an application. They won't allow sleeveless shirt or blouse, shorts or short pants, and slippers. Forte the target release of the test result. The civil service exam result will be available on the official website of the Civil Service Commission within 60 working days after the examination. Examinees can generate their examination rating through OXERGS or Online Civil Service Examination Result Generation System, which can also be accessed through the CSC website. Generation of examination rating through OXERGS shall be available approximately 15 days after the posting of the list of passers, or as indicated in the corresponding issuance slash advisory. That's all for your ultimate guide in taking the CSC exam. If you have any questions, you can write your comment. GOC bless on your exam. And thank you for watching.